it. Like, you know, when, when you submit a game normally for uh, a, a leaderboard on speedrun.com, like they, the your run has to be reviewed or whatever yeah. by a mod before it shows up. Well, we, we skip that part in DTC. Like you don't, like you just don't have to moderate? Nope. <laughs> How do you know people are cheating? They're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to A Candid Conversation with... My name is Breezeby, and today we are continuing on with our speedrunner series for December, where I am interviewing all sorts of speedrunners from all over the place. And today I have a super special guest. Our guests are always special, uh, but this one's particularly special to me because I am a, a Donkey Kong fan, and uh, this just happens to be one of the first speedrunners I ever watched. I don't know if I ever told you that, but you are one of the first speedrunners I ever watched. Oh, Which is yeah. pretty sick. Uh, okay. So I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Hey, uh, I am Void and I roll deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> That's like as brief of a description as one can make. But yeah, like you said, I speedrun. I speedrun mostly the DKC games on the Super Nintendo, but I also speedrun a bunch of other cool games like Yoshi's Island, Super Mario RPG, Paper Mario, Celeste, Hollow Knight, bunch of stuff, bunch of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, actually, like, it's funny you said that, that like, you know, you're one of the first uh, speedrunners to like, one of the first people that you ever like watched, uh, because like, as that's how we met, like you were hosting my uh, GDQ run. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I had actually, uh, I don't, I think I had told because when they when you get selected as a host it was my first like time hosting they'll ask you they'll be like hey what games are you into what are you interested in and i was like oh i really love donkey kong country like that is the game i played as a child i've like that is my bread and butter and at the time i don't think i realized that you were running at that point i just like told them that's what i like wanted to host if yeah. they had anything um so they had set me up for that, but I had actually found you from speedrun.com, like, I don't know, maybe a year oh, you found prior. Yeah. Oh, wow. cool. I, yeah. I had watched you um because I was watching your world record run at the time. I think of Donkey Kong Country because that was the game that I wanted to run because that's mm -hmm. my baby. And yeah. I was like, all right, let's see like who the fastest person is. Let's see what the fuck this is all about. And it was you at the time. And I was like, Oh my gosh. So I like knew who you were. And then when I got to host your run, I was like, holy fuck, this guy, like, <laughs> he, he knows what he's doing. He's so good at video games. I was like super stoked. So yeah, yeah it was. That, that run was pretty all right. Yeah. And then I remember after, afterwards, like he came to my chat and I was like, oh, dad, you, you, you were hosting my run. And then we've been friends ever since. I was fucking honored that you remembered. I was like, oh yeah. my God, he knows who I am. I was like <laughs> very excited about that. So yeah, I, no, I'm super that's glad. Like, that's like my weird thing about uh, streaming. It's like, if, if you t speak in my chat, like even like once, like I'll, most likely remember you like for a long time it's just like i i pay attention to those things it's like, I'm, I, I guess i'm good with like remembering names and it really i think your community has been one of the most like down to earth and welcoming that i have seen in a in a while just because you do know everyone's name like there'll be people who pop in that like i've never seen before and i used to be in your chat quite a bit and you'd be like, oh, hey, I haven't seen you in like a full year. How's it going? How like, yeah, yeah, how's exactly. life? That's wild. And you've been streaming for like a fucking long oh, time. God. My my first stream was in March of 2015. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. It's been a while, yeah. So like March 2015 was my first stream and first GDQ run was uh, in 2016. And I got partnered in February of 2017, so. Wow, that's a pretty like steady track that you were on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Did you start with speedrunning when you were streaming, or you started just streaming I did, whatever? Yeah. I did. I did start with speedrunning, with DKC speedrunning specifically. Like, uh, one of the first DKC runners I found on Twitch was Peachy. And at the time, she was doing DKC. And 
yeah, I was just like, at some point, let me, let me try this out. And then I did. And then eventually that led to DKC2 and that led to me wanting to basically stream my runs. But like back then I didn't have like any really like aspiring goals to be like a big streamer or whatever. I was just like, I suck at interacting with people. And like, <laughs> I don't get that at all. Like, you know, I'm French Canadian, so like, I was like, I'm, I'm probably gonna, not going to be like the best entertainer or like the best person to interact with. So I was, I was like, I'm just going to get good at these games, and then like people will come, and like that's just like one thing led to another, and then like at some point I was just like, well, yes, people come, but like they don't necessarily want to come to see me like basically throw my controller at the wall every reset. So I had to like quell that down and basically like you know just learn uh how to be a better streamer like every every single day yeah did you had did you have an angry streak where you like because i've seen you get frustrated but i don't think i've ever seen you like throw a controller <laughs> uh piece of garbage video fucking game i'm out i'm out i am rage quitting the stream it's over thanks for watching everyone bye well i've, I've gotten mad i've gotten mad but uh <laughs> You know, uh, back then, like, I also didn't have a uh, webcam, so it was, like, harder to, like, tell what, what, if I was angry or not. But, like, yeah. back, like the, the no the no cam streams were probably, like, when I was the, the, the saltiest at video games. That was also, like, the, <laughs> that was also, like the, the early void kind of thing. So, like, yeah. when I started, I was very, very tryharding uh, with speedrunning. I speaking of camera i've never asked you this and i don't think i've ever gotten the lore this is like rare special edition void for anyone who doesn't know Void is normally not in color you stream your cam in black and white i've mm -hmm. never asked you why or at like gotten the lore on that yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a really good uh lore actually that's so like lore lore update story time with void so <laughs> yeah uh back in the day so i mentioned when that i didn't have cam um AGEQ 2016 was the face reveal, basically. And no after that, shit. Like, yep, yep. That's nerve wracking. So, <laughs> I, I was like, that's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Uh, like, it, it's not necessarily that, like, I had, like, I was afraid of cameras or whatever, but it's more like, uh, I, I didn't feel like acquiring one at the time. Yeah. So when I came back home, I was like, okay, well, the face reveal is done. So I might as well go buy a camera now. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, it's pointless to like you know keep keep, keep like the 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 secret hi uh, in, in like hiding or whatever and i did that then i started streaming in, in the you know color cam because i didn't know any better at the time but <laughs> but so here's what happened is i don't know if you know uh blonde bunny i think i know the name okay yeah so like he runs link to the past mostly but he okay. also like dabbles in dkc games and like uh, we've been pretty good friends uh we met at egdq 16 and yeah uh and he maybe streams with cam like once or twice a year and like the one time i remember back then watching his stream and he had cam on it wasn't black and white and i was like hey that looks kind of cool let me try that and ever since i've had my cam in black and white and now it's been like kind of the the trademark void thing really like i have cam in black and white all the time unless like people specifically donate for color cam or oh. um that and uh what else would, would i want to say uh yeah so like that and also like i have uh black and white emotes you know that's right yeah but, uh, a good way to keep the the trend going like the, the brand the void brand <laughs> it's a good brand it's very like i that was always the thing that i remember when i had first found your videos on speedrun.com i was like why is this dude streaming in black <laughs> and white but it like it, it's such a signature thing i mm -hmm. i feel like i know so much now just knowing the lore behind that speaking of twitch so you you said you started in 2015 yeah. did you so you already knew about speedrunning. You had already found speedrunning. Why, why Donkey Kong Country? Uh, so Donkey Kong Country was like one of the first SNES games I've played. So like I didn't own a SNES when I was a kid, but my cousins did. Like I had two cousins basically that both had uh, SNESs, and one of them had DKC and Yoshi's Island. So whenever I would go to uh, her place, I would play either DKC or Yoshi's Island, and that's basically how it started. That cousin had DKC 1, 
And my other cousin had DKC2, but I was playing DKC2 a lot less because I was going to that cousin's place a lot less often, obviously. Uh, but like I remember the first time I played DKC2, like my mind was blown. I was like, oh shit, they made a sequel? <laughs> they made a sequel to that game? And eventually I got access to uh, the entire like SNES library on an emulator on my old computer. And then that's where I learned about DKC3. I was like, oh, shit, they made a sequel to that game. <laughs> and yeah, I, unfortunately, like playing on emulator because like they had the, uh, the anti-piracy thing going on at the time. So I was not able to beat either two or three up until I got my hands on the GBA remix. But yeah, like DKC2 eventually became the game I like was the most known for because of like the records and also like the GDQ appearances. My first GDQ run, I was running DKC2, so. Yeah. I feel like people want to know how 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 are you so fast? Like how how are you, are you just super dedicated? Are you just like like how I I'm so curious about speedrunners cuz I talked to other people about this. Y'all are built different. Like you literally <laughs> I get frustrated. Literally. Yeah, like I get frustrated and I fucking quit. And you guys just like do this all the time over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Like how do you I'm... not go crazy? That's my secret. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> that might be it. Yeah, I, I, I think it like it has a lot to do with like the competitive mindset. Like, I don't know, at least at least for me, like I've always been a pretty competitive person. Like back in the day, I was playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh competitively, the card oh, game. Shit. And I went from Yu-Gi-Oh to Magic when I was around 18 years old and from Magic to speedrunning when I was around 21. So like I've always been like kind of try hard at my, uh, my, at my hobbies. Like I've also like played guitar when I was in high school. I was also like trying to go hard playing guitar. I, was, I don't know, I just like, I, I, I guess when I really like find something that like hooks me, I, uh, I wanna go hard at it. Like I really wanna invest myself fully and especially like speed running. Cause at the time I was like, but in between jobs pretty often. So like I had a lot of time to sink into learning speed running and like getting good at the games that I was running. So like DKC1, DKC2, I was putting a lot of practice in because I had the time, I, I had the, I had that luxury, but um, yeah, I didn't like back then really think of speed running too much. I was just like, well, this is just like a good way to, uh, to, to, to spend time really and then like eventually when i started streaming on twitch i was like yeah this could this, this, this could be cool to like you know have have your name at like the top of the leaderboards or something like that yeah but like yeah that was never like my primary goal how many people were watching you before you went to your first gdq like how like how big was your stream before you went went live i guess <laughs> I want to say, oh man, that's that's a good question. I want to say that like before my first GDQ, like maybe like upwards of thirty to forty people. That's still a lot for someone who yeah. had like just started streaming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it just the community, like the speedrunning community, that was just curious to watch you, or do you feel like you were like a really stellar streamer? I know I want to I want to say it was mostly like spearing <laughs> people <laughs> that were like hey who 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 the heck is this guy it's yeah like, he's so good at donkey he came out of nowhere that that was like it's funny because like that was also like kind of the, the mystique behind uh, that back in the day and uh, like story time was void again oh like, yeah when I started streaming I already ha had like a pretty jack time in DKC two I started streaming um, DKC two speed runs mostly I never like I didn't. My first speed game was DKC1, but I started streaming DKC2 runs before DKC1 runs. And uh, back then, the DKC2 record, I think, was like a mid-40. And when I started streaming, I already had like a, four, a high 41 or something like that. Wow. Um, I was still like really close. But that was also like kind of like my, not to say goal, but like... I really like invested a lot of time offline into like getting good at DKC2 so that like I would basically just like hop on Twitch and be like hey this is this is what this is what I've done this is like how far I've come like already but like you, you know at the time people were like well this, this guy must be an alt account or something like <laughs> he's too good like who who is he like he came out of nowhere 
because that's that's another um, sequel to that story. Yeah, like that first stream. Uh, it was a Friday, and uh, on Fridays, the DKC community used to have those weekly races, and that uh, night, uh, I remember that was the first uh, DKC2 weekly that I joined, and that was like still to this day, like the biggest DKC2 weekly that's ever happened. There were like close to 20 people or whatever, and I won the race, so wow. I, I, I farmed everyone on Spirit on Lives, basically. <laughs> I got all their speedrun live points, and um, yeah, it was like, yeah, like who is this guy? Like, what? How is he so good? Like, where did he come from? And yeah, people like, kind of, kind of were like, he must be an alt account, but like jokingly. Yeah. But, yeah. I also like didn't have Mike back then, so that kind of added to the mystery of me being an alt account. It was just like silent, like you were just like. Yeah, I was like, no mic, no cam. You know, try harding DKC2. <laughs> that is incredibly mysterious. I kind of love yeah. that. And you yeah. just popped out of nowhere. Yep. Wow. I, I, I was in chats, but like very, very little. Because yeah. like, you know, big, big lurking energy, you know. And now I feel like you share quite a bit of your life online. Does that transition, like, has that been an easy one? Do you feel like you naturally want to share things? Or has it just been like the way that it is? Uh. It's another good question. Uh, I I guess it just like happened as it went along. Cause like, yeah, like back then, I guess back then I wasn't like really experienced with like the online way or whatever. So I was just like, well, if like, you know, if I, if I like this person that I'm just gonna like tell them stuff. Like, it, I don't know, like some people are really private when it comes to yeah. being online and like sharing stuff with people that you know online and whatnot. But like to me, I was just like, well, I mean, you know, I live around there. This is what I do, whatever. I was just like, you know, I thought that like, you know, sharing life experience, I think is a, a good way to connect with people, especially online. Cause like, you don't like have this, um, IRL like bond, you know, you can't, you don't, you don't hang out with the person and like the, you know, the person like IRL. So like, you know, it's kind of harder to, uh, build a rapport, so right. to speak. And I don't know, I, I, I thought it was like an easier way to connect with people to just like share stuff this way. Cause like, I'm, I, I was also pretty awkward back then. I feel like everyone is though, like, especially in yeah, your younger yeah. years, like you're just sort of figuring yeah. things out, especially yeah. if you're somebody who plays video games. I feel like yeah. all of us can relate to just being I, like antisocial, awkward, whatever. I, I, I was so nervous. My first GDQ, I was just like, well, I've, you know, it's going to be like my first time meeting internet people <laughs> what was that yeah. like and you went did you go by yourself or did you bring friends with you i, I went by myself yeah. holy and shit i only stayed like i think three days i think i stayed from like the monday up to the thursday and like my gdq run was on the tuesday it was tuesday or thursday mm -hmm. or, or wednesday and uh yeah i was just like how am I gonna like introduce myself to people? I was just like, because no one's seen you yet, weird. right? Was, yeah, that, that was like really getting into my head. But then at some point, I was just like, well, I'm going there to meet people. I'm gonna like make an effort to like try and meet people properly. And so you're, you're gonna you're gonna find this funny. So like the first thing I did was I went to the practice room. I sat down. I plugged my SNES and I played DKC2. That's the way to do it. Yeah, and then I mean it. It actually worked because like then people like showed up and they were like, "Hey, you, you must be Void," because like they didn't know <laughs> what I looked like back then. <laughs> you know, no cam, but uh, they were like, "Oh, this guy's playing Nikki C two. He must be good." Like, he must be the guy. That's so funny. You were just like the wise old man just sitting quietly in the practice room. And people were like, that's the guy. He's the, he's the one playing the game. That's amazing. That, yeah. Wow. And when you came back and you like suddenly had like you had met all of these friends and stuff. I mean, you had gone from nobody knows who I am to suddenly like I have all these friends back in the States. I'm assuming like a lot of people like lived here in the States and then you had to go back to Canada and like yeah, yeah not yeah. see I, them again. I, I I knew no one close to like where I lived uh that speed ran. So yeah, like basically all of the people that like I met at GDQ were like people that 
watch my stream and, and stuff. But like other than that, like in, 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 in Quebec specifically, yeah, back then I, I knew no one. Yeah. Absolutely no one. How did you initially, I guess maybe I already asked this. I'm trying to like parse, I'm like trying to make a timeline of your whole life in my head right now. Um, I'm trying to figure well, out like- The whole life was so uh, involved. <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out like where you first did you just happen upon your first friends in the speedrun community, like on Twitch or you like, I'm, I'm wondering about the leaderboards too, because I have no idea what the state of like speedrun.com or like submitting your times was in 2015. Cause like I, I joined the community in like 2019. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I, I kind of align in you on that. Uh, back in 2015, there was no speedrun.com. It didn't exist. Nah. It was still <laughs> speed demos archives uh or whatever so it was basically, before basically leaderboards were like managed individually by uh communities so like for the dkc community for example we had our leaderboards on the dkc speedruns wiki okay and they're still there to this day but they're obviously outdated like a lot of people don't update their times on those leaderboards anymore because they're speedrun.com so and speedrun.com brings more traffic so like that makes sense and you're a mod yeah. for what all of the DKC one two three. Yeah, I am, but like, there's no merit to being a mod for the DKC games because uh, submission is done automatically. Like you know, when when you submit a game normally for uh, a, a leaderboard on speedrun.com, like they, the the run has to be reviewed or whatever yeah. by a mod before it shows up. Well, we we skip that part in DKC. Like you don't like you just don't have to moderate. Nope. <laughs> How do you know people are cheating? They're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I thought it was bad when I talked to to Heckigan a co like a week ago, and he was like, "Yeah, I watch all of the submissions at like six times speed." And I was like, "You're a moderator. Like, you're supposed to be making sure people are cheating." But you guys are just like, not. No, we're not. <laughs> 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 well, let's expand on that a little bit, okay. all right? Because, because like what you what you said, uh, like it, it, it's actually like a good reason why we don't do it. Because like if you're to do it half-assed, then just like don't do it altogether, you know. You know what? That's good life advice yeah. in general. Yeah. And, and also, also, um, cheaters inevitably get found. Uh, like you don't necessarily need the mod to like review the run. Like a lot of times, like cheaters will like go through the net because uh, mods just like you know watch the run at six times speed or whatever. And they're just like you know are watching anime on their other screen and yeah. And like when like essentially like top runs will always like be more scrutinized so if a cheater gets to that point then yeah you know they, they will eventually get caught and like see backlash and if you cheat your run and like you you're like hey i look at that i am uh, 50th place out of like 75 people on this, these leaderboards then like Okay, well then, why did you cheat in the first place? Right, like, uh, it's already like stupid to cheat in speedrunning. Yeah, because like you speedrun for yourself, you you should not like speedrun for like street cred or whatever. Like speedrun.com, like big dick energy. Like, right, that's not the point. But like, if you cheat and like you don't go for like the top of the leaderboards, which is like what the cheaters want, then like, like what even are you doing? <laughs> Has there have you ever caught any cheaters? Like, has there been Donkey Kong Country speedrun drama? Like, I need the tea. Yes, yes, oh! there has been. What there kind? Been. Can you like, d like, fill me in on anything that's like not gonna stir up shit, <laughs> or will it all I, stir up I, shit? I, I can give you some spice. Like, okay. there are a couple of names in the DKC community that like got caught i'm obviously not gonna say them yeah, yeah, but yeah. like <laughs> one like one of them like literally got caught because uh it like showed on their face that like the reflection of their computer was like they were obviously playing a movie on emulator like oh. they were doing runs and then at some point they just like stopped for a bit and then pulled up a file uh, on their computer played it and like you could obviously tell that like the delay between like the reset and the run starting from the recording yeah. was longer than a normal reset and then later on 
uh, they, they were receiving donations while they were faking the run. And they were like always looking at like chat and like stream labs or whatever. They were hardly looking at their game and like they were still like playing the level perfectly or whatever. Oh my God, that's bold. Yeah, that is bold. That was very bold. And like the worst thing about that is that they did it because there was like a bounty going on in that like part of the DKC community. That's so like, shitty. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, okay, I'm gonna fake this time and I'm gonna claim that bounty. And it's like, oh, okay, well, cool. That... And they obviously got caught. Like they weren't very they, good they, at they, it. They, they, they did get caught, yes. Was yes, it immediate? They, they, they got caught like maybe like a week or two after. Like okay. suspicions got brought up to me, which I oh, brought shit. up to the other mods. And then uh, I think at some point, like, like while we were like, you know, discussing me and the other mods, like the person that brought up the suspicions to me, they kind of got like tired of waiting, I guess. So they just like fucking publicly went to the DKC Discord and like blatantly called out the cheater. And like, turns out that they were right. They Drama. were absolutely right. Because like at that point, everyone, like all the eyes ended up being on that person. Of that course. Cheater. Yep, yep. And then like, the, the 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 castle the, the house of cards crumbled <laughs> very sh shortly after that oh my god the drama what a saga yeah. i feel like yeah. in any community you have that but i always enjoy it with speedrunning because it does feel like such a silly thing to cheat at it's like just oh, yeah. just do the thing the whole point is to be better than you were yesterday so like exactly. what are you trying to prove Oh, do you want to know another good one, actually? So, yes. like, that was, that was yes. good, really good same story in the DKC community, but there's another good one, and that one is, like, pretty old. It's, like, a around the time I started, like, being involved in the community and, like, checking out the streams and checking out, like, speed on Twitter and whatnot. And, like, I... Like, I wonder, like, how familiar are you with the DKC speedrun, actually? Like, do you know, like, the, the jump rolls, for example? Probably. Okay, well, the jump rolls are, like, those frame-perfect tricks. You only have one shot at them, and they save, like, a gajillion. And, like, back then, there were, like, four of them in the run. Like, you add them up together, and it saves, like, a minute, minute and a half or whatever. And that person, that cheater that I'm specifically uh, referring to, nails all the jump rolls in their run, their cheated run. But like in other levels, like their movement is so obviously shit that you're like, okay, there's no way you can hit all the jump rolls like this consistently and also like be this bad at this specific part of the game. Like back then, the top runners, like you, you could ask them, like th there's no way that like you could hit the jump rolls like this consistently while also like having like subpar movement like right. that. Like, it like it just didn't add up. So were they just like using like what? How how were they doing? Yeah, basically it? all of their runs were like pre-recorded. That is so stupid. There are a lot of people who submit runs for Donkey Kong Country, like for all the Donkey Kong games, right? Because they were so like near and dear to everybody's heart growing up. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the easiest way to start learning a DKC speed run? Well, uh, I might be asking I'm for personal reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you asked. So uh, I mentioned earlier uh, the DKC wiki, uh, dkcspeedruns.com. Uh, that website has a shit ton of info on like every DKC game, like all the levels, all, all the strats, like a bunch of uh, demo runs and like ways and tutorials on like how to pick up tricks and whatnot and it's like i've been spearing for a while and i still think that it's one of the best resources like across the board like across all the games that i've ran like it's still one of the best if not the best resource that i've ever seen for like speed running and you should check that out and on the dkc wiki there will be a link to the public dkc speedrunning discord that you should also join like you roll in there you can ask all the kinds of questions and also post all kinds of split pbs and whatnot and just like hang out have a good time uh you know we uh we post emotes we post copy pastas all day long <laughs> because you know the, the dkc community will literally turn everything into a copy pasta and yeah we just, we just like to have fun overall and so yeah that's pretty much where i would start um 
I thought like, you know, I also mentioned I started speedrunning on emulator. Like I think it's like a really good way to familiarize yourself with whether you're gonna enjoy the hobby or not. So like, you know, download like an emulator like SNES 9X or BizHawk or whatever, and then like fire up some DGC on a ROM and try it out, try the tricks out that you see from like a top run or from that you read from the wiki or like that you check out from a tutorial and yeah just enjoy yourself basically fuck yeah that's like a really that's a good summary i feel like of of the community i'm glad i did that correctly (laughs) (laughs) i feel like you probably do that a lot do you get a lot of people coming into your stream still and being like how do i start running this thing uh i have i have a lot of people come in and be like which which dkc would you start with Mm -hmm. or like which one is the easiest dkc game to pick up and like my answer is always like you should pick the one that you like the most because you're going to be doing it a lot yeah exactly like a a, a lot of of times people tell you like you should you should run a game that you like so that you end up hating it no i'm just kidding like (laughs) (laughs) do you though like can you do you ever i don't know do you feel like it's ruined the nostalgia for you or do you still love them no i still i still love the dkc games it's just like Obviously, sometimes it's frustrating. It's part of the hobby. Like, you know, there will be downs and ups, like mostly downs. But like, <laughs> by, by, like by nature, speedrunning, it's like you, you'll fail more often than you'll succeed, right? Yeah. Like, you, you'll have like a lot more resets and a lot more dead runs than PBs. And you just like not get discouraged and not get frustrated is like really like a big part and like so it's such a hard thing to like push through when you're starting out and yeah i mean i'm still still learning every single day to to be to be better than yesterday on that on in that aspect but um uh, yeah you're killing it too you stream all the time twitch.tv slash void we're putting it down in the description <laughs> got the best emotes on twitch good community it's 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 a good time there yeah yeah well i i I know you like it and i know i like it so (laughs) for sure is there (laughs) anything else that you want to say want to plug i know you we were just talking before this you had a podcast you also have a youtube channel you want to talk about the other stuff you do before we go um what else do i do (laughs) (laughs) you do a lot i feel i don't know you tell me what else do you do do you have hobbies outside of speedrunning what what else do I do? I mean, honestly, at the moment, like really, speedrunning is like my turbo focus. Really. Yeah. Like I speedrun on Twitch, and then I, you know, like I said, like you said, I'm really trying to grow the YouTube channel at the moment. Like I've been posting a lot more content on there for the last like six, seven, eight months. Like I, my, my goal this year was to hit YouTube partner. And like, after I got that, I was like, all right, well, let's keep going. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's like, I, I wanted to like monetize the YouTube because I was like, it's, it's, it's free dollar. You know, when you think about it, it's free dollar. And yeah, the podcast idea came along and just like doing YouTube content, like stream highlights, that kind of stuff. And you know, it's it's a one man job. Like I have to do basically all of it. Uh, I have someone that has been giving me a hand recently. Uh, Shout out to him. Uh, his name is Liquify. He's also part of the DKC community. He runs the games, and yeah, he just like is giving me a hand for like uh, some editing stuff. But like the bulk of like the stuff that I post on my YouTube comes from me. And yeah, it's like, it's a tough balance to strike really. Cause like, I'm, I'm investing like a lot of time into Twitch and I don't want to like cut my Twitch hours to just like put more into YouTube. So I have to like figure that out. But there's so many hours. There's like only so many hours in a day and you are one there's, person. There's not enough hours in a day. Yeah. And it takes, it takes forever. Like I know streaming already takes forever and we kind of talked about this like before we even started recording i was like you are one of the most consistent streamers that i've seen and like you said it's because like this is my job like i do this for for you know fun but also like this is how i make my income yeah yeah uh Basically. and then on top of that you're trying to make content for youtube and i don't know about you but it takes me for fucking ever to edit videos and put together ideas and being a content yes. creator is yes. like a grind 
Yep, yep. Like editing videos, like you know, editing videos, it's it's fun. It's like really rewarding, but mm -hmm. at the same time, like it's so tedious. Like I'm working right now on uh, a YouTube video that uh, talks about a DKC2 trick called Arctic Zip, and like I feel like I've already put like. 15 hours worth of video editing, including like, you know, writing the script and recording it, like probably like close to 20 hours if you count like writing and, and recording the script. And like, I'm, I'm, am I halfway done at this point? Like maybe, like, I don't know, like, I'm, it just like, it almost looks like, you know, a mountain to climb, but I know yeah. that like at the end of the day, the result will be worth it. And that like the last one that I made, that was in that similar style was about bleak skip, which is a thing in DKC three. And that one was like super well received. And I'm really proud of the result because like a lot of people told me that like my editing really stepped up since uh, my previous video. And uh, I could also tell, and I was like, you know, it's, it's those little things that I'm like, yeah, like it's, it's going to be worth it. It's going to pay off at the end. For sure. Do you ever think about leaving streaming? or leaving content creation and just like, I don't know, sometimes I just think about like getting off the internet and going into the woods forever, you know? <laughs> I've, I, I, I've thought about it, yeah. Like last year, I like, last year was probably like the, the, the lowest I felt regarding that because I was mm -hmm. just like frustrated about like, you know, my stream not growing and like being like, well, am I, am I like, pe do people even care? Like, am I still relevant? Like, do I, do I have friends? You know, like all, all those stuff that like, you know, are not good for the brain and i was just like like should, should, I, should i just quit should i just like you know go, go do something else and i don't know I, I i guess i just snapped out of it and then like i bounced back and um you know i started you know really like get to the grind again and i you know got got back on my horse kind of thing yeah you your growth a lot of it came from obviously speed running like that's where you made your name especially donkey kong and i know i've seen you branch out to various different games and like try different things i know you probably feel like you're like pigeonholed to be running dkc that's, forever that's that's the frustrating thing it's yeah. like whenever i branch out then it's instantly like i lose half of my viewers and i'm like hmm, do people like care about me or do they care about donkey it's yeah like, that that adds to like the the, the bad brain uh, feelings you know i think everyone goes through that especially if you're a speedrunner who got big for like that game and everyone's like i just want to see you do it yeah and then you try to do something for fun that's like different and yeah, exactly. viewership drops yeah that's tough yeah like i i know i know a few people who like we're grinding for partner and like, you know, okay, they get like, they get, they get, they get big numbers and then they get partner. And then like, once they get partner, they're like, yes, like I, I did it. And then like, I can play whatever I want, whatever I want. And it's like, okay, but like everyone just fucks off. And then it's like, no, come back. You know? Yeah. And sometimes the people who do come back are like, when are you streaming this game again? And you're like, <laughs> Me literally every day. Yeah. Every day that I don't see Donkey, people are like, hey, Donkey sure looks different today. Or, hey, avoid, where are you going to play Donkey again? And I'm like... Yeah. Do you... I feel like at this point, you just got to... Like, do you ignore them at this point? Or are you just like... <laughs> well, like, it depends on the mood. Like, sometimes yeah. I'll be like, you know, I'll, I'll ignore them. Other times I'll just like tell them like snarkily that uh they're they're a dick and that they should fuck off or like other time i'll be like you know what like if you subscribe to my channel twitch.tv slash voice slash subscribe <laughs> right here right now i will play dkc i will literally stop what i'm doing and i will play dkc and you know what they don't even do it well, you heard it here first. If you want him to play DKC, then you're gonna have to subscribe. And even yeah, then, he's funny. not your fucking puppet, so he might not do it anyway, because yeah, that's not yeah, how streamers like, work. It, it takes a lot of patience sometimes to, you know, babysit these kinds of people, but <laughs> yeah. th th there are good parts to streaming. I swear For to sure. God. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what they are yet, but there are good parts. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly sick well we are glad that you're still around i'm personally glad and i know your whole community is glad that you're still around we're glad you're still uh rolling deep as they say rolling unfathomably deep unfathomably deep <laughs> fantastic well 
I think that is it for us. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It is a fucking honor to be talking with a legend in the DKC community. Uh, and oh, thank and it was so much for having me. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, fun. We're gonna cut it here. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah.